don't tell me not to fly. I simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. Who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade? I ain't trying to prove shit to you, bitch. Want to fight? So don't let them steal your life. What's up, guys? Um. We've got a little bit of a situation going on now. Uh, I watched a video the other day, and what we got going on is YouTube has started to listen to SJWs and feminists, and they're doing some soft censorship. And what they're gonna, what they're started to do, and they've already done it. If you guys check your videos, you'll find they've already done this. They're going back, and they're uh, seeing if you've said anything. Uh, like rape or pedophilia or did a video on something like that if you put something in your description that they don't like if they consider your video to be offensive to anybody they're going to go and uh, take away your monetization capabilities <laughs> I think from a business standpoint, this is pretty easy to understand why this is something that's stupid, that shouldn't be done. If you look at it like this, if you're a company and you're, you want to advertise with some place like YouTube, you have to know that when you come on that people have millions of followers and that they got those followers by saying and doing things that their viewership likes and YouTube self polices so if there's somebody on the YouTube that that is doing something offensive that people don't like then people don't watch those videos but if you think you have the right to come onto this platform and say well I don't like what these people are doing so they can't monetize their videos at all unless they adhere to what I think is right. That's wrong. And the reason why it's wrong is because it's very simple. They already have they already have people policing them through their viewership. If you don't want to be associated with a certain person because of what they say, it's very simple. Then you don't get to advertise on YouTube. You know, you sign a contract that says the stuff th that I'm going to be advertised on, I, I may not agree with, but I have no right to police them. You know, that's, that's basically how it works. You don't have the right to police somebody because you think that it's the right thing to do. Because you can come on and your multi-million dollar company can tell billions of people who are on YouTube what they can and can't do because you're going to advertise on their videos. That just doesn't make any sense. Now the other thing that's going on, I just finished watching a Jenna and Julian podcast, and they were talking about um, the Fine Brothers. They have decided to make their format, which is reaction videos. Uh, they are they are making it to where they've they've basically they've legally made it to where if you want to do that format you have to pay them and that anybody that has those kind of videos without paying them will have those videos taken down and when you they're basic I mean how far is that gonna go because you know I mean if if somebody decides like my my style of video is a copyright and then they go copyright that you know now you can't make a video in that style either only that person can make a video in that style and that's basically what they're what they're headed for. That's what they seem to want. And I'm actually boycotting them. I'm not going to watch any of their videos. Anybody that actually pays them and says like, oh well, I'm just going to keep making my videos, and pays them so that they can keep doing those videos. I'm not going to watch their videos either. You know, because this is not YouTube. That style is not YouTube. They're trying to. They. I hate it because when companies look at a human being and something that people are watching that some that gives them some happiness and there's a little happiness left in the society nowadays and when somebody looks at that and say, says 
I don't care what they're doing and how many people like it. I want to make money off of it. That's shitty. That's a shitty human being, you know. And uh, these uh, companies that are doing this are are going to ruin many of the YouTubers that you and I love. And when you think about people who do reaction videos, because that's what the videos they're going to their copywriting are reaction videos. When you think about TJ, the amazing atheist, the Drunken Peasants podcast is run strictly off of reacting to other people's videos. TJ's format is finding other dumb YouTubers and reacting to their format. Sargon of Akkad, reacting to other people's format. You know, almost every YouTuber that you can think of looks at even Jenna and Julia podcasts, you know, when you look at, uh, uh, you know, Joey Graceffa, you know, All, almost every YouTuber that you can think of that's a big YouTuber, that's what they do. They look at other people's videos or they have the challenge videos. I mean, what happens if somebody does that? They say, I'm the first one that ever did challenge videos and now I want to copyright that. And if anybody else does challenge videos, they have to give me 60% of the profits off that video. Because YouTube has already, in the last two years, took our profit off of a video down to 50%. So where before we might have made a dollar, you know, per, you know, say, 1,000 views, it's now 50 cents for 1,000 views, you know. So we're hardly making any money off of our videos as it is. And then these people are going to come along and say, yeah, but we're, that 50 cents that you're making, we want 45 cents of that, too, you know, to where they make it, they're... They're going to soft censor to where it, they're not saying that you can't make the videos if you don't want. If you want to make a video and cuss and, and say whatever you want, that's fine. You can do that. But we're not going to allow you to make money off that video. And what that does is if somebody is in the business, like say, I mean, look at the Freely the Banana Girl. Her recent videos are reacting to other people's videos on veganism. Look at uh, Vegan Gains. That's what he does. He looks at other people's videos and other YouTubers that do fitness and talks about their videos. That's a reaction video. Now you're going to have to pay me. You know, That's what they're doing. That's what these guys are wanting to do. All these people that are doing reaction videos to other people's stuff, they want to copyright that and take their money. And, you know, like I say, I'm, I'm not going to watch any of their stuff. I want to see, I would love to see their view count go down and I want to see it go from a million views a day to zero and if it did that for a week maybe they'd change their tune because this kind of thing on YouTube isn't welcome here you're not welcome to do this to people on YouTube people on YouTube are make, making very little money as it is and this SJW crowd soft censoring people on the internet because of their feels might get hurt is fucking bullshit so that's all I got to say about it. Thanks for watching. Share, like, and subscribe. You got any comments, leave them in the section below. I'll put some videos in the section below so you can see uh, what I'm talking about. And uh, thanks. I ain't trying to prove shit to you, bitch. Want to fight? So don't let them steal your life.